How y'all doing? I'm Tobin, back in my den for a full review of Cowboy Up from Hendrix Classics & Co. I've had the soap for a couple of weeks. I've had the splash for a little more than a week. If you follow my content, you know that I love Tom Ford's ombre leather. Cowboy Up is a clone of ombre leather. I'm going to talk about that more in a second. Something I also want to talk about in this video is often times in life we get what we pay for. And then there's always, of course, the instances where they're kind of like an anomaly. And we might not always get the value out of something that we expected to get from it for the price that we paid. My case in point that I'm going to be talking about with this, I just used the last blade out of this tuck here. That's the, I have a brand new, well, it's not brand new. I've had it forever. It's unopened, but it'd be more like new old stock. I've had it for a couple of years. I bought a few of these a few years ago. These things are super expensive. What are your guys' opinion of the Mercure Platinum? I notice a lot of people don't use them. Is that just because they're expensive? Or is it because what I believe is a whole lot of buck and very little bang? I have a first use Mercure Platinum loaded into my vintage 39C. Getting close to the end of my slant razors. I have a couple more planned. Real briefly, I've already used my modern 37C and my vintage 37C. This guy here is actually from the 80s, my 39C. I've dated mine my vintage 37C to the about 60s. I've been trying to figure out a little bit more information on that. If you guys know of a website or anywhere that has a complete breakdown with photos of the Mercurs, I'd love to get my hands on that. I sent Mercur an email a couple months back, but blah, blah, blah. I could use your help. Cowboy up. Let's get to scooping this and talk about the scent notes. This um, In this video, I'm gonna announce here in a few minutes, Two winners, one winner from uh, the Just One Riot, $15 gift card from Hendrix Classics & Co. And the $15 gift card from my first impressions of Cowboy Up. If you follow my content, you know that I am like a huge fan of Tom Ford's Ombre Leather to the point that if I wasn't such a frag head with hundreds of fragrances... Um, it would be like my signature fragrance, but I don't have a signature fragrance. That's just because I love so many fragrances that I'm always wearing a different fragrance. I've done a review. My first review of a Tom Ford fragrance was Denaid Foil 50. That was last Valentine's Day. A, re a release from Phoenix Artist and Accoutrements. Now that one was an inspired by Tom Ford's Ombre Leather only has six notes. Denade Foil 50 had 10. What I believe um, Denade Foil 50 was kind of cool because in 2016, Sonia Constant, that's the lady's name, who developed Ombre Leather. In 2016, she developed a fragrance that's now known as Ombre Leather 16, standing for the 2016. That one had a few fragrances in it, like Violet that's not in this. And what I think PAA kind of did is they took the 18 and the 16, plus they added some of their own, own stuff like tobacco. Tobacco is not found in the 16 or in the 18. And so theirs was, the Denade Foil 50 was very much an inspired by. It is a beautiful fragrance. If you see my review of that, I'll put a link to all these videos in the description so that you can kind of get more of a full idea of my opinion of this fragrance from Tom Ford. Sonia has made a bunch of great fragrances going back to 2009. Her first fragrance was um, for Avon. I think it's Pro Ocean or something Ocean. I set this out of the way, my Boba Fett soaker mug. Then uh, the next Tom Ford leather fragrance that I did was Mosper from the Wet Shaving Store. Now that's Tusk Tuscan leather. Tuscan leather is a little different. The top note in ombre leather is cardamom. The top note in Tuscan leather is raspberry. And there's other differences from there. 
but the leather in the two fragrances are very similar. And you hear, you'll hear me saying in those other videos that the biggest reason why I buy Ombre over Tuscan is that Tuscan is literally twice the price. Quite literally, Tuscan leather by Tom Ford is twice the price as Ombre leather. I love it. Don't get me wrong. We're just going back to cost and what I'm going to be talking about more here in a minute, like with these blades that's in my razor. Um, my Hendrix Classics & Co. Stainless Steel Bolt using a vintage Clinzo handle that originally had nylon bristles in it. This has a black badger, and this is one of my new brushes from Matthew Lawrence. I cleaned it up. I've used it once, and so far, this is right up there with two of my other favorite black badger knots, and that's this one in my West Coast. And then this one from Smiles for Miles and my sake knot. Again, going back to price, right? Simpson, I love my Simpson brushes. I love the Best Badger and the Super Badger. I'm not crazy about their Black Badger. They call it a Pure Badger, Potato Patata. It's a black or gray badger. Anywho, top note, singular, in ombre leather. Cardamom. In the middle, we find leather and jasmine sambic. Sambic is important. In the base, we have amber. Excuse me, my contacts are a little sticky. They get sticky towards the end of the day. In the base, we have amber, moss, and patchouli. I love this base from Pete at Hendrix Classics & Co. The soap and set, soap and splash were sent to me as a gift for review. I did not pay for it. Such a killer base. Then I did a review of a fragrance that if you've seen my review or if you've seen any of these other videos regarding Tom Ford's Lombardy Leather or maybe elsewhere, you will have no doubt heard me speak highly of Oro Valley from Sterling. Sterling first came out with it two or three years ago. It was a Black Friday thing. And when it first came out, it was only in the little three ounce tubs. And they only came in the little two ounce splash bottles. And so when it first came out, I bought a soap, a couple of splashes, and a couple of EDTs. That following summer, they really re-released them again in the small tub. So I bought, I ended up with a total of three EDTs. That's these guys here. Three soaps, but that's also because Sieg Solo, a friend of mine and fellow content creator on YouTube, he sent me his because he didn't care for it. And now see, this is you know, where you go back to how fragrances are subjective. Uh, let's take it off. Pepio Tree Farm. He didn't care for it. I absolutely love it. It's, it's absolutely one of my top three fragrances, if not my very top fragrance that I just would have to have. Um... So I had three soaps, bought another splash, and then I've also picked up the bath bars um, and whatnot. And just recently, I bought from Sterling the Friends Till the End. I'll talk about that more when my mail call gets here. I'm hoping that it gets here tomorrow. And then I have never tried their solid cologne, so I bought the Oro Valley solid cologne. Um, and then I have tried these other products, but in different fragrances. I bought my first Oro Valley body lotion my first Oro Valley beard balm. Oh, and then I bought the um, the aftershave balm. When the first two releases of Oro Valley, look at this lather, it's just coming to life. The first two releases of Oro Valley, they just did the soap and splash and then the bath, uh, bath bars. So I have my first um, balm of it coming. Then there's the Donate Foil 50 stuff. I also have the bath bars. Of it, the EDP, the solid, the DO. I am crazy about Tom Ford's leather fragrances, especially ombre leather. I have owned a full bo size bottle of the EDP. I'm currently working my way through the Parfum, and I have learned that I like the EDP more than I like the Parfum. All right, so we got a bunch of gibberish out of the way there let's talk about cowboy up i just wanted to give those 
who aren't familiar with my content, kind of a, a foundation to stand on to know where I'm coming from and how it, like excited I might get when I start talking about Cowboy Up. Here I have on the back of my left hand Oro Valley from Sterling. Here I have Cowboy Up. Here I have Tom Ford's Ombre Leather Parfum. And right here I have the EDP of Denade Foil 50 and a little, a little dash of the splash maybe. I'm a freak. The Star Jelly is good too, by the way. Anything Tom Ford's Ombre Leather is good stuff, Maynard. But there's some differences and let's, let's see if we can't talk about those differences. Here in a minute, I'll break down the what I'm talking about more with, with cost and comparing these things. But first, let's talk about the scent notes and what you can expect from Cowboy Up. One, you can expect this killer freaking lather that Pete's base creates. I'll take a little bit off right there. I'm sure my brush is full of it. My eyeballs are full of it. Might have to uh, put a drop in here in a second, guys. Got a mirror. Down here to my right, your kitty corner left. The top note is cardamom. And the cardamom in this, Cowboy Up, this fragrance is spot on with Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. I had a couple of different people ask me because guys that do watch my content, they know I'm a huge fan of this. And so in my first impressions alone video, I got two different comments in the comment section of people asking me about this and Sterling Oro Valley. And then I had a small handful of DMs and one email of guys asking me how I compared it. Now there is a parfum. And I'm going to talk about that in a second from Pete at Hendrix Classics and Co. So the cardamom in ombre leather in this cowboy up is perfect when compared to ombre leather warm aromatic slightly spicy a little sweet the leather earthy woody masculine this is a subtle and sophisticated masculine scent I've said this before, the leather and, and ombre leather is so perfectly balanced. I have tried leather fragrances before that is too much leather, uh, too cheap of a leather smell. You know, one of the problems with leather, I'll get in a whole other ramble. There's different ways that leather is made. And one of the cheap ways that they make it in Asia and other places is actually from fish. So if you ever come across like a fishy leather, it's because they literally made that leather from fish when typically traditionally that's not how it's made and anymore here in america it's illegal to make leather the way that like the cowboys did uh, don't get me started you got me started i didn't do it you did it by asking me stop asking the jasmine sambic not grandiflorium sambic talked about that just in my most recent video of horizons outdoor review Musky, rich, first juice, Mercur Platinum in my vintage 39C. I got a bowl right over here to my left for dipping and rinsing. I'm bringing it a little closer. Musky, rich, sultry, and a tad sweet. A tad, a sm there's like a, a light sweetness to this floral. It's a, a musky, rich, a little sweet super sultry just perfect floral this is not a floral fragrance but you can catch it oh god and if you if you love it as much as i do and you catch yourself smelling it as often as i do you'll get this floral tone that fits what i just described i think to a t amber the amber in this is seductive this is a seductive fragrance. When I wear it to work, for those who don't know, who don't know I'm a transit operator. I drive a 45 foot bus up and down the freeway. Think, think like a Greyhound, but it's not a Greyhound. It's actually a little nicer than a Greyhound. It's a service that I do for the state of Oregon. So I get into close proximity with a lot of people all day long. If you wear anything at all that resembles Tom Ford's ombre leather, 
you're going to get compliments. You will get compliments wearing cowboy up. And it may come in when you least expect it. Sometimes people catch me off guard. So it's the amber is a warm, seductive, exotic, rich and powdery note. If I had to have one favorite amber note, it would be the amber note that is found in ombre leather. After that, we find the moss. Now, a lot of times we see like oak moss and sometimes it just says moss. And the moss that is in Tom Ford's ombre leather is not listed where they're getting it from. It could be oak moss. It could be from a bunch of different trees. All we know is moss. That's all it says. It's one of those trade secrets that for whatever reason they want to keep to themselves, which tells me that it probably isn't oak moss. Otherwise, they'd just say oak moss. Or maybe, you know, Sonia, that's who actually created the fragrance, or, you know, whoever decided to keep us guessing. I don't think it's oak moss. It could be. But it's earthy. It's a kind of a bitter wood type fragrance. I love Shepra's and something that you basically have to have in every Shepra. Shepra is an oak moss or some type of oak or some type of moss. And the moss note, I almost put that in my rinse bowl. The nos moss, the moss note is, is just perfect. I, I, dude, you guys, I love this fragrance so much that I could almost get like, bouncing off the wall excited talking about it thankfully i'm tired and my contacts are sticking on me so it's kind of like holding me back <laughs> but it is it's like the most perfect earthy slightly bitter wood note it is just it's it's welcoming it really is i know that bitter like bitter is welcoming it it's it's crazy good and that leaves us with the patchouli and talk about Another just absolutely perfectly crafted, in my opinion, note. The patchouli in this musky, deep, earthy, a robust, woody patchouli that just lasts for hours. Oh, the Oro Valley smelling really good. I've had both of these on for about an hour now, all, all of them. Oh my God, so good. A musky, deep, earthy, robust wood note. So, you know, you get that. You go cardamom, leather, jasmine, sambic, amber, moss, patchouli. And so down there in that bottom, you have that, you know, rich, deep, earthy, beautiful, just gorgeous, earthy tone it is just perfect. I think that the amber is kind of acting as a perfect, like, anchor, a perfect, like, pivot point going from the cardamom, the leather, and the jasmine, and then, like, anchors it and kind of helps pivot it into the moss and the patchouli the I almost grabbed my 39c uh 37c the the leather is present throughout the entire uh dry down the the leather remains the cardamom it fades away the amber becomes harder to notice um but i believe the jasmine and that leather they linger now Tom Ford's ombre leather on the skin, I can get, I'm not kidding, like 10 to 14 hours of wear, maybe even longer, especially on the clothing. You put this on your shirt, it's going to last like 16 hours. No joke. But that's what you expect from a fragrance that's $155 for 1.7 ounces um, or 50 milliliters. So let's talk about price and what best suits the individual's needs, right? So a guy that's crazy uh, um, about ombre leather, I've tried a bunch. In fact, I've tried ones that I'm not talking about in this video. I've tried, you know, different ones that are just EDPs, EDTs from the alt companies and other places. I love buying off of Amazon because it's so easy to do returns. And so there's fragrances from there that I bought and returned. Um, and that's because they just 
weren't worth keeping. I already had things that were better. Let me grab, I have a, a, a note over here. I'll put this stuff up on the screen for you guys too while I start. I'm gonna do a little splash of water on my face for this third pass. All right, so I'm gonna put this up on the screen for you as well. Or I'll try to, but don't forget. So Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Um, I got this price off of Sephora. That's where I do a lot of my fragrance shopping, unless I'm buying it from a place like Fragrance X or Fragrance Net, okay? Um, but Sephora, a 1.7 ounce bottle, which is 50 milliliters, is $155. That's gonna last you 12 to 16 hours. 10 as a minimum. I guarantee you, you're gonna get 10 hours of on the skin wear or you should, the average person, okay? But me, I'm getting 12 to 16 hours, depending on where I put it. That comes out to $3.10 a milliliter. $3.10 a milliliter. Okay, that's, that's gonna be on the test. Oro Valley. Now with it, we're also gonna talk about soap, okay? So Oro Valley is 5.8 ounces of soap for $14.25. The splash is a hundred milliliter. That's almost 3.4 ounces. And that's $13 and 65 cents. So 27, about 28 bucks, right? Give some, and a little change. Look at that lather, you guys. That's a third pass with this little brush. No pre-shave, no nothing. The EDT, this guy here, I got him for cheaper. It was only like $18 when I got uh, my first two, excuse me, first two, because it was the whole Black Friday thing. I got a killer deal on all these things, which is why I, I bought a few when I, they first came out. And then it was so good, I wanted to buy more. So the EDT, the EDT is 50 milliliters that's 1.7 ounces 26.95 that's 54 cents per milliliter so we've gone down from three dollars and ten cents with the tom ford to just 54 cents a milliliter i can get with the edt eight to ten hours of wear with the splash, six to eight hours of wear, okay? So the EDT, 10 tops, 16 tops with the Tom Ford real thing. Cowboy up. Four ounce soap is $22.99. A 100 milliliter, 3.4 ounce splash is $22.99. And then he has the Pure Parfum, talk about that more in a second, the Per, the, the pure parfum, which is a 30 milliliter bottle, which is one ounce for $32.99. So that brings it down to a dollar and ten cents per milliliter. Let's call it a dollar. So you have a dollar a milliliter, 50 cents a milliliter for the sterling, and then three dollars for the milliliter of the Tom Ford. And I'm here to tell you guys, and if you've seen my Sterling review of Oro Valley, or if you heard me talk about it in any of the other videos whatsoever, you guys know that I love that Oro Valley and that it was, it was the closest thing in my den to the real thing. It no longer is, and now let's, let's talk about that and answer some of the questions that I received. Oh, first, let's announce some winners. Congratulations, and thank you, Pete, and then we'll talk about that. So with the Just One Riot, I got it written down. Where are you? All right, so the, the winner of the first $15 giveaway to Hendrix Classics & Co. is Ron Dimebag Daryl. Congratulations, Ron, and thank you, sir, and thank you, Pete. These are courtesy of Pete, and I'll have more for the month of December. Pete Hendricks has generously, generously offered me two $15, I'll rinse out my beard when I'm um, done with the video. Pete Hendricks has generously offered me, 
us, the community, two $15 gift cards a month. So we're doing the November ones right now. And in my next Hendrix Classics and Co. video, we'll kick off the December ones. I also had that giveaway in the Cowboy Up for the other $15 gift card. And the winner of that one is Armors Apprentice. So Ron Dimebag Daryl and Armors Apprentice. In the description is my link tree. Send me an email or DM me on uh, Instagram or Facebook. All that stuff is in my link tree. Just click on my link tree and then whatever works for us for you, send me a message. If you send me an email, let me know what to look for. So comment in the comment section down there below. If you have any questions about how to get a hold of me, I'll give you guys two weeks to respond from the day that I post this. This will probably be up Monday morning. It's Sunday the, what, 21st or whatever? No, the 19th. Tomorrow's the 20th. So, two weeks from the 20th. And then I will go back to the video and we'll just redraw someone else and I'll contact them directly. Um, so contact me. I will then get your information to Pete. So what was I saying about the cost? Oh, that's right. Cowboy Up, when compared to Oro Valley and Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. I still stand by 100% that Sterling's Oro Valley smells exactly like Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. And it does. So does Cowboy Up. Where the difference is, is for those who don't know. So in this community, we have artisans that make their own fragrances like Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. They literally made the fragrance that's in Denade Foil 50. And then the artisans that don't make their own fragrances, they buy blends from companies that do make them, and then they put them into their soaps and into their products. Now, there's a huge price range of these oils that they can buy, and they buy them by like the pound. I could be wrong on the exact weight or measurement that they buy them by. But they range anywhere from like $60 a pound, if, if my measurement is right, to like up to $200. And there's all these different price points in between. There's like four or five different qualities that you can buy. I have no idea exactly, you know, of course, what Sterling is using or what these other companies that I've tried are using or what Pete is using. But I can tell you this. I know that Pete always looks for the best of the best. And from the conversations that I've had with him, that means the most expensive. And my understanding is, is that Pete does buy the most expensive ones out there. And because of that, what I notice a difference of between the Oro Valley Splash and this, because this that's what we're comparing, um, because I don't have the perfume of Cowboy Up. This is a way more premium smelling fragrance. Some of you might not pick this up when, if you only have Oro Valley, you're probably not going to notice it. I had my wife help me with this. Besides this one smelling more premium, having a more premium feel to it, more premium smell, and lasting longer. This is lasting around 10 to 12 hours on the skin. This is lasting 6 to 8 hours on the skin. It has, Oro Valley has like a metallic note to it that shouldn't be there. Um, and it's the kind of thing that I had noticed before. Um, but it wasn't really worth mentioning because I was comparing a product that I paid $20 for the EDT to a product that I paid almost $200 for with the Tom Ford. And so, you know, I expected small differences, but it was, it still was the most the closest to Tom Ford's ombre leather that I had experienced. And it still is 
like almost spot on. Like I'd say this is like, you know, 95% as where this is 100%. Only real difference is smells more premium, has a slight metallic note to it. And if you have both of them, I, you know, put them side by side and see if you can pick it up and you're going to pick up something different. I guarantee you that. And if metallic's not the right word in your mind, please share with me what, you know, what it is that you pick out that's different. Cause I'd love to hear what your opinion is, but metallic is the one descriptor that, that really stood out to my wife and I, and that we both immediately agreed upon. Mysterium serum. So I hope that answers some questions. Um, you know, you're looking at the cost, um, sterling, you know, it depend, it, a lot of this all comes back to, you know, what you can afford. It's like the analogy I gave during my Just One Riot when I was talking about razors and brushes is a Lamborghini and a Ford are both going to get you from point A to point B. It's a matter of how much bling, you know, how important it is to you and how much money you have. If you already have Oro Valley and you can't afford another soap set, you don't need Cowboy Up. However, if you have the money and you love, you know, Hendrix Classics and Co. or the base or anything like that or the label, buy it. You're going to notice the difference and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about without having to spend the money on the real thing. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on the on Pete's Parfum. Chances are I'll never buy Tom Ford's Ombre Leather again. I will not earn a dime from this review. I will not earn a dime from the sale of any of the products in this video. And I could say that this doesn't smell anything like it and, you know, and still say it nicely. And Pete would still send me things to review because Pete wants an honest review. He has said that and I believe it and I've seen it in Pete. So I have nothing to lose or gain by telling you guys. Otherwise, I'm giving you my raw, honest opinion. Um, I call balls and strikes and I call them as I see them. And that's what I'm doing here. This is fantastic. I did say in the beginning, this is a collaboration with Rich Man Shaving. That, of course, was at the beginning. You probably saw it. I'm a dope. My apologies, Rich, if you see this and have watched this far. Um, it is a collaboration with Rich Man Shaving, Pete at Hendrix Classics & Co. And is available, my understanding, exclusively at Hendrix Classics & Co. It's a little big things. Like knowing what you can afford and knowing what's important to you and whether or not you should, you know, you should buy it. A lot of people look at us and the amount of money that we spend as being ridiculous. So, you know, I don't want you guys chasing rainbows. Um, but if you can afford it, buy this. If you don't have Oro Valley and you want to experience Tom Ford's ombre leather, this is what you need to buy. It, it's that simple. It really is. Cow, Cowboy Up is the more premium product. Hands down, um, you know, the soap bases are both comparable. I would give the edge um, to two peats with the performance of the soap bases. And I would also give the uh, post-shave feel of the aftershave to Hendrix as well. But again, it's hard to beat those prices um, of Sterling. What's less than $14, $13.65 for a 100 milliliter splash compared to $23. So just, you know, a huge little big thing is being responsible with your money. And that's the only like hesitation I ever have doing these videos is I don't want to be kicking in FOMO uh, where FOMO isn't you know necessary. FOMO is a fear of missing out, you know, making you want to buy something when you can't afford to. That's actually something that I think about off camera when I'm preparing videos. Because I want you to be responsible with your money. And at the same time, I want you to support the companies that I love and then support the companies that support me, but I have no monetary gain from it. I'm going to continue to ramble all the way until Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Pete. Y'all take care and, uh, buy some cowboy up. Take care guys.